Hi, I'm Eliana Mayo and I'm 12 years old. I was diagnosed with scoliosis in September of 2014. When we went to see my first orthopedic surgeon, he told me my one and only option was spinal fusion. And he said it wasn't a big deal. My whole world stopped. Tons of questions started running through my head. Would I be able to dance again? How much school would I miss? Would I be able to bend down with metal rods in my back? Would I look weird? I didn't want to give up my mobility to scoliosis. We were going to find a solution, but in the meantime, scoliosis was taking over my life. I was chosen to compete in a statewide violin competition, which was a huge honor, but I couldn't compete because my days were filled with brace appointments, doctor's appointments, and physical therapy appointments. I was also missing a lot of dance team practices and performances, and I wasn't able to perform in the school musical, which I had really been looking forward to. I hated it. Everything changed when my mom found the Institute for Spine and Scoliosis. We were going to have to fly out to New Jersey from Chicago, but at that point I was willing to do anything to avoid fusion. When we met Dr. Betts and Janet, Janet gave me a huge bear hug and Dr. Betts explained everything to me and my parents. He said I was an excellent candidate and I was super excited. When he looked at my x-rays, he didn't gasp or tell me I was deformed in any way. After the meeting, I felt much better and felt like I was ready to have the surgery and get back to my life. I felt like I could really trust them. I was scheduled for surgery at Mount Sinai two months after the initial diagnosis. There I met the rest of the team. I met Dr. Ian Tanachi. He was really calm and full of information. He took the time to re-explain everything, asked me if I had any questions, and reassured me that everything would be okay. Dr. Cudahy held my hand on the way back to the OR and told me she would take good care of me. I was scared, but having them by my side, I felt like I could really trust them. As you can see from the pictures, my back was pretty bad before surgery. My top curve what measured 59 degrees and my bottom measured 56. People were starting to notice and I was starting to have pain while running. The surgeons were able to get a great correction and told me that my curves would continue to decrease as I grew. My curves ended out to be 18 on the top and 16 on the bottom. Right now I am 3 months post-op and I am pain free. Dr. Antonacci, Dr. Betts, and Dr. Cudahy are all so amazing. They said that they would take care of me, and they did. Joel even booked us a room in the Ronald McDonald house so that I could stay in New York longer and heal. I'm so grateful for what they have done for me. Now I can put scoliosis behind me and return to dancing and acting and doing everything else I love. This experience has taught me so much, and I'm so grateful I had double VBT. I would recommend this surgery and these surgeons to anyone who has scoliosis. Thank you Dr. Antonacci, Dr. Betts, Dr. Cudahy, Janet, and Joel for everything you've done for me.